podium as well. Let's now back to some business and of course we're aware of what has been happening with Kenya Airways, a tidy sum of money that is coming from Treasury on the supplementary budget to try and bail out KQ and this also has talked a lot of debate uh, whether KQ is salvageable, right? Or we should actually try and rescue it as a national carrier, as it were. Is it good money after the bird? And of course, no one else can do this better than Brand George to tell us what is happening. Brand, good morning. Good morning, Dubal. Mm -hmm. So the background is that Treasury has proposed a supplementary budget of about 126 billion Kenyan shillings, which is a 3.3% jump in the national budget 2021-2022 financial year. That was about 3.32 trillion. So the background also is that um, KQ, K, uh, Treasury had proposed uh, last year to give KQ a bailout of about 53 billion Kenya shillings that did not see the light of day and uh, as much as this is awaiting parliamentary and legislative action there has been conversations about it so in part of the bailout the uh, in part of that budget 38.5 billion Kenya shillings has been set aside to bail out other uh, parastatals like Kenya Power and of course their universities and then KQ. Now KQ takes the lion's share of about 26.5 billion Kenya shillings. So earlier on we had also seen some legislative action that had gone into trying to find sort of a long-term remedy to these uh, perennial uh, issues that have been dogging KQ. Of course, we understand that KQ has been making losses. Like in last year, 2021, they made an 11.5 billion uh, shilling loss. In 2020, it was, uh, it was actually worse at 14.33 uh, billion shillings loss. So um, this 26.6 billion that they are now being advanced as proposed by the supplementary budget from Treasury will go into things like paying salaries, maintaining their carriers, and, and, and of course paying other utility bills like water and of course electricity and the like, things that make the, uh, the, the company move on its own. So in the nationalization question, which would actually be the long-term remedy as proposed by some uh, quarters, is that... Um, the consequence would see KQ being delisted from the Nairobi Securities Exchange, which means that um, no private investors would be able actually to invest in the national carrier. But that is as much as we know right now. Um, we are seeing a bit of hope in it because uh, KQ has been actually trying to really, uh, really marshal up in terms of um, you know, business innovation. We are seeing KQ partnering with other airlines like the South African Airlines. We are also seeing them coming up with solutions like uh, the logistics. We saw last year uh, KQ repurposing some of the passenger, um, uh, passenger carriers into logistics or cargo carriers so as to maintain business. And equally, we're also seeing um, a bit of changes with, with the routing, and we are seeing KQ going into new routes. So those are some of the, uh, the, the, the easily visible actions from the administrative administration in, at the KQ right there uh, trying to make a change. Dibal. I thought maybe the nationalization that was to happen, that will have will actually had uh, put that particular question of uh, delisting from the NSE uh, into question. Now that is not happening, is it uh, still uh, in the offing? No. Um, it's a wait and see approach, Dibal, because that had been floated earlier on, and much the much we know is that a parliamentary committee was sitting, of course, to debate it uh, before it is again put to the floor of parliament, whether or not that would work out. Of course, there are other issues to do with the policy and, of course, the managerial framework that would go into it now that it would be a national uh, a company. And it, now it would now delink you and I from ever trying to buy KQ shares. And, of course, that has also has to be communicated to the um, Capital Markets Authority, which, again, to grant uh, that permission to delist it from the Nairobi Securities Exchange. So. N nothing is, uh, we, we, it's, it's no, not all is lost, I would say. I dare say that not all is lost in, 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 in KQ and in trying to make it a national carrier. But then also we have seen other state parasitos being affected by issues of mismanagement and the like. So it, 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 it would need more than just bailouts, as I was reading in an opinion article earlier on in the week. KQ actually needs more than just um, a, a financial bailout. It may need a whole rework of the whole uh, managerial system and, of course, other issues that make airlines work to their best. Dibal. Right, thank you. Thank you very much, Brian. Also, let's drop in uh, Gloria from uh, the City Centre studio, I&M Studios there, to just bring us up to speed of 